Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video and the meet week has started. It's time to explore the two new seasonal events that Bethesda has released a few hours ago. If you have logged in Fallout 76 today, you probably noticed something different. There are two new seasonal events going on right now and they are pretty intriguing. So in the first one, which is pretty common, it's called Primal Cut and you can find all sorts of creatures, but they are now called Primal. They will drop meat, of course, and at the end of each event you will receive primal meat, which you will need for the second event. You don't necessarily need it to do the event, but it will give you some advantage and more rewards. Moving on, I'm going to cover about events and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about each one of them regarding what to do, where to be, how it works, and of course, what rewards you can get from each one of them. Primal Cuts is the first seasonal event. It's quite regular. You can find it once, twice, sometimes even three times at the same time in one single server. There are five prime locations where it can spawn in different areas or regions in the map. Also, there is a server-wide notification when one of these events starts, so be very attentive to that. I must tell you that it doesn't always work. It's a little bit buggy. However, let me tell you the five spawns where we can find primal cuts. Starting at the first region, we have this spawn right at Flatwoods and the mobs here are quite low level because it's a starting area. Then we can go a little bit to the north to the Toxic Valley and the spawn is a bit to the northeast of the Toxic Lake and the mobs are also not so high level. Then moving south at the Hash Heap, we have this a primal cut spawn which is surrounded by abandoned mines and things start to get a bit challenging with scorpions and so on. Then in Savage Divide we have this spawn near where free range starts at Fred's barbecue uh, spot. Very easy to find too. Then at the Mire we have the spawn that is to the north of Backley. And finally, at the Cranberry Bog, we have a spawn between the Bog Town and the Cranberry Glade. And the last two spawns are the strongest in terms of mob levels and also rewards, as you will see further into the guide. And these are fixed spawns. You might see one at a time or several at a time, as you can see in this server where I was doing one event and there were two more running. So it's all about the luck and the RNG factor. Now that you know where to find these events, it's time to understand what you need to do. Well, when you arrive to the event, if you are the one starting, you need to play the drums to make noise and lure the primal creatures. After that, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is wait for them to come to you, take them down, all of them, and, well, go through four waves of primal creatures, basically. You need to kill all of them, and that's pretty much everything you have to do for this new seasonal event. I know, right? The engagement levels here are just too high to even mention. The good part is that you get tons of experience because the creatures are in mass. Also, some of them will drop money, weapons to scrap and useful junk, so that's a plus. But the event rewards is just one thing, a primal meat. Also something important to note is that sometimes the final boss, it's always a boss, it can be a legendary, a one-star legendary. And it can be any 
thing, really. From a Grafton to a Sheep Squatch to a Behemoth and many others from what I have heard. But I can't confirm because I haven't seen them yet. Moreover, I must tell you that you need to be careful when you are doing this event with a lot of people because when the legendary spawns, you need to hit it really fast. Otherwise, it might happen to you what happened to me here. I was on the other side of the event killing stuff. The legendary spawn, everyone hit it. The legendary died. I didn't have a chance to hit it, so I didn't get anything from it. But that's how it is. Sometimes it happens. Alright, you know where to go and what to do in this event. What about the rewards? What you get from doing primal cuts? Well, you will only and always get primal meat at the end of the event. And this is the logic behind how it works. And yes, before you ask me, I have tested it already. So in the forest and the toxic valley, the low zones, you get three prime meat. For the hash, heap and salvage divide, you get four prime meat. And for the mire and the cranberry bog, which are the highest zones, you get five prime meat. This is a fixed reward and they work by regions. And you know what's coming next, so I wouldn't tell you this information without proper facts. So I'm going to show you one clip from each event in a different area. So if you want, you can confirm what I'm telling you. Of course, it's just one clip. It doesn't really prove anything. I have many more. But for obvious reasons, I'm not posting all of them in this video. Otherwise, we would have one hour just with rewards showing up in your screen and i don't think that's pleasant for anyone but proof is proof so i'm giving you something to work with my best advice here is to head to the mire and to the cranberry bog you will always get five prime meat but of course if they are not up just do whatever is available in your server before I start explaining the second event, I want to tell you something else. Because the other event, when it pops up every hour, you will probably have some issues keeping your prime meat. So I strongly advise you to get a good with salt, which will really help you with the spoil rates and, well, the meat will last much longer. It's time for the big cook! So, what to do in the second event called Graham's Meat Cook? It starts right here near Vault 76 and it is active every hour. It also has a server wide notification whenever it is available, of course. So, what to do here and what can you get? Well, first things first. When you get here ahead of time, you will have to wait some minutes for the event to actually start. I think it's some sort of period to give some time for other players to notice the event and fast travel here. Because it is quite bothersome when you miss it, I must say, because your meat will most likely spoil unless you are using the good with salt perk, as I mentioned earlier. Anyhow, the goal of this event is to help Graham cook meat and for that you have several subtasks to do in order to help raising the bar, it's like a meter bar that will appear in the top right of your screen. You should keep an eye on it and some of the things you can do is collect green plants, clean spots, kill critters like squirrels and beavers opossums, whatever you can find around the event, but don't forget to pick up their critter parts or bits because you need to deliver them as well as your greens. Keep an eye for the wood around as well because you can deliver wood for the fire. And these are just three things that you can do in this event. There you go, you delivered the critter parts there, the plants here, the greens, the wood in the fire, and of course you can clean the place as well the rotten parts no one wants to cook stuff around the rotten things and finally we have this part where you can deliver your prime meat and changing it for script 
However, there seems to be a limit of three tries per event, which means you can only get 15 script per run. I tried three times so far and every single event it was the same result. I have heard that sometimes you are able to go further than that, but I'm not sure about it, I cannot confirm. There are other ways to be cooperative. One of them is to grill meat. Your character is basically here grilling and that counts towards the progress of the event. Another is to play the barrels. It's also just something you click and your character keeps on doing it. So if you are on the lazy side, you still can contribute towards this event. And again, the goal is to fill the bar I suspect that the better you do, the better rewards you will get. But again, that's something I cannot prove myself. I can only prove that when you don't meet the first icon, the first meet icon, you will fail the event. Other than that, I have always filled up the entire bar and we completed it. I got amazing rewards for what it is. And that's all I know for now. As I just mentioned, if there are not a lot of people around, it's very difficult to complete this event. And this is what happens when you cannot meet the requirement, the minimum requirement, which is the first meet icon in the bar. Let's move on to the best part of the event. What rewards can you get from Graham's Meat Cook seasonal event? Well, to start with, you will always get 60 cups every time you complete the event. And then you will get lots of random things, as well as a one-star legendary random gear part. In this run, I got a pretty rare hat. It's a chef's hat, a black one, and it's called Krillmaster's Hat. In this second event, I received the Bloody Chef hat, which is basically the same model, but in white with some dried blood. And I heard that you can get an outfit as well, which is displayed in the screenshots Bataza has published earlier to advertise the event. I wasn't lucky enough to get it yet, but it seems it is that way. Also, you can earn a mod part for the tenderizer weapon. I got spicy. I don't have the weapon though. I suspect that you can get a plan to craft it from this event as well. But that's not everything you can get. You can earn up to 15 script every event by delivering a prime meat from the first event that I explain how it works. And while you do this, you will receive a buff that prevents you from sending further meat into the fire. And this is what you get. You get 5% experience bonus as well as 30 HP more and your hunger won't decay at all. This buff is called Strong Meat Sweats and it lasts for around 15 minutes. It starts right after you submit your last prime meat when it locks you down and you can no longer send more meat for script. So there you go. You can stack it up with other XP gain bonus as well. It's showcase time. Let me show you the two hats that I received from the event so far. This is the bloody one. As I mentioned, it's white with some dark spots, which is supposed to be blood. Then I got a grill man's hat, which looks very badass. It's black with no spots at all. It's very professional. Too bad it looks like another hat that I already have. It looks exactly like that. It's called chef's hat and for some reason it's black as well. I'm not sure how I got it, but maybe it's a rare drop. It's just weird that Bethesda has added this hat with a different name, which looks exactly the same as another hat in game with a different name. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Oh, 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 
It's midweek and remember this event is seasonal and it only lasts for about a week as far as I know. So make sure to do it as much as you can because it won't be up for much longer. Also enjoy your free week with double experience bonus. That's always welcome in my opinion. And I hope you enjoyed this video, which is basically a guide to both events. I'm Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I have a Patreon page as well, so feel free to check it out. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye bye.